Finding the lines of symmetry of various shapes. In this module, you will learn to find by paper folding the number of lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, a square, a rectangle and a rhombus. Recall that if you fold a figure, so that its two parts coincide. The line of fold is called the line of symmetry. A line of symmetry divides a figure into two halves that are mirror images of each other. Let us do an activity to find the number of lines of symmetry in an equilateral triangle an isosceles triangle, a square, a rectangle and a rhombus. For the activity, we need cutouts of an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, a square, a rectangle and a rhombus, a ruler and a pencil. Take the cut out of the equilateral triangle. Fold it through one of its vertices so that the two parts of the triangle exactly overlap each other. Unfold the triangle to get a crease. Use the pencil and the ruler to draw a line on the crease. The triangle has the lion symmetry along this line. So, this line is called the line of symmetry of the triangle. Now, fold the triangle through the second vertex so that the two parts of the triangle exactly overlap each other. Unfold the triangle to get a crease. Use the pencil and the ruler to draw a line on the crease. This line of fold represents the second line of symmetry of the triangle. Next, fold the triangle through the remaining vertex so that the two parts of the triangle exactly overlap each other. Unfold the triangle to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line of fold represents the third line of symmetry of the triangle. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. Now take the cut out of the isosceles triangle. Fold it through a vertex common to its equal sides so that the two parts of the triangle exactly overlap each other. Next, unfold the triangle and draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the line of symmetry of the isosceles triangle. Now try to fold the triangle in the same way through the remaining two vertices. You will see that no more lines of symmetry are formed. Thus, an isosceles triangle has only one line of symmetry. Next, take the cut out of the square. Fold it so that one of the pairs of its opposite sides exactly overlap each other. Now unfold the square to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the first line of symmetry of the square. Next, 
fold the square so that the remaining pair of its opposite sides exactly overlap each other. Now unfold the square to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the second line of symmetry of the square. Next, fold the square along one of its diagonals so that its two parts exactly overlap each other. Now, unfold the square to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line is the third line of symmetry of the square. Now fold the square along the other diagonal so that its two parts exactly overlap each other. Unfold the square to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line is the fourth line of symmetry of the square. We cannot fold the square in any other way so that its two parts exactly overlap each other. The square has four lines of symmetry. Take the rectangular cut out now. Fold it so that one of the pairs of its opposite sides exactly overlap each other. Now unfold the rectangle to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the first line of symmetry of the rectangle. Now fold the rectangle so that the remaining pair of its opposite sides exactly overlap each other. Unfold the rectangle to get a crease. Draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the second line of symmetry of the rectangle. We cannot fold the rectangle in any other way so that its two parts exactly overlap each other. Thus, a rectangle has only two lines of symmetry. Lastly, take the cut out of the rhombus. Fold it along one of its diagonals so that the two parts of the rhombus overlap each other. Now unfold the rhombus and draw a line on the crease. This line of fold is the first line of symmetry of the rhombus. Now fold the rhombus along the second diagonal so that the two parts of the rhombus exactly overlap each other. Unfold the rhombus and draw a line on the crease. This is the second line of symmetry of the rhombus. We cannot fold the rhombus in any other way so that its two parts exactly overlap each other. Thus, a rhombus has two lines of symmetry. So, this way we can find the lines of symmetry of various shapes by paper folding. In this module you have learned 
An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. An isosceles triangle has only one line of symmetry. A square has four lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry. A rhombus has two lines of symmetry.